Good day and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we have the Kaler German Beer Advent Calendar. Uh, we're on day six. Right there. Right there is day six. So let's open her up and see what we got, shall we? What do we got? What is this? We love beer. That's not in German. Uh, what is this? Uh, oh, okay. So this claims it's a craft beer, so it must be a craft beer, right? This is a Roche beer. This is our Roche beer. From Zwinzer Brewing. Uh, the Roche beer, 5.5% alcohol by volume, water, malt, hops, and yeast. Okay, I'm excited for a Roche beer. I'm excited for a Roche beer. Uh, so we're going to do the opening here. If it's not Laker Ice, is it worth drinking? That was the question I was just posed. We're gonna go with yes. Yes, it is. Uh, so this is a cap I need to save. So bang, let's save that. That was a big hiss on that, and there was a lot of smoke that came out. I was expecting it to blow over. Boris, if you lick my hand right now, I swear to God. He goes right for the fucked elbow, that's what he does. It's like, oh, look, your bad elbow's holding something. Let's just start hitting it. Because I'm Boris. And I'm a dog. Alrighty, so, here's our Roche beer. There you go. Looks nice. I mean, a deep red color. Off. Off white, slightly mocha head. Snap crackle pop is there. Scent. To be honest, not much coming out of the out of the glass. Not much at all. Out of the bottle. Okay, out of the bottle, there's a lot more smokiness. Like a like a hickory smoke. Yeah, the bottle, the bottle's like hickory sticks and cut grass. The glass, not really anything. Let's try it. Cheers. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, but, uh... What's that, uh, it's a Schloss, isn't it? Schloss Ederer. Uh, I can't even, I can't remember the German German brewery names. I can't do it. But there's that one that does the, the Bach, the smoked Bach, and they also do a regular Roche beer. And uh, both of theirs, and I know they're a bigger company, they're a more predominantly worldwide company, both of theirs are something I would, uh, I would say, to me personally, are better than this. This isn't a bad beer, though. I'm not saying it's a bad beer. I'm just saying that I would rather drink the Roche beer from the bigger company. Uh, that being said, this beer does still have a lingering taste. It's still there right now. It's a little bit, ro it's a little bit smoked. Um, high carbonation, very effervescent. It attacks your tongue. Medium, medium mouthfeel, medium body. You get a little bit of uh, caramelized sugars. Get a little bit of that that hickory smokiness, and then you just get a almost liquid smoke like flavor on the back end. And I, there's no liquid smoke in this. I'm just helping you with adjectives, helping you with paradigms, helping you with ideas that may spark what it is. Uh, this is what it sparks for me. With each additional sip, though, there's there's more of a, a burnt smokiness on the back end. 
it's it's now starting to come up to an almost ashtray like uh, taste. And before I get a before I get this in the comments, how do you know what ashtrays taste? What it tastes like? Um, I grew up in the uh, 80s and 90s. Uh, I was drinking at bars in the 90s and the early 2000s. There was a shot back then when you could still smoke in a bar called the Dirty Mexican Asshole, and it's a super racist name, I'm sorry, but I'm just talking to you about the shot. So what the shot was is you would take the butts out of an ashtray, leave the ashes in it, and you'd put a shot of tequila in it, and you were supposed to take the shot of tequila out of the ashtray with the ashes. And so that's how I know that taste, because I've done that before, because I am an idiot. This beer, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Not great. Not bad. I'd buy it again, though. It's it's a nice tasting beer. It's a very subtle beer. If you've never had a Roche beer before, this is a great introduction to it. It gives you a little bit of the idea of the flavors, uh, but it's not overpowering like a lot. BDU is planned for tomorrow. Well, today, uh, whether or not it actually follows through, I don't know, but it is planned for today. So that's all for today, folks. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir, y'all. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.